church family. It's Pastor Jim here, and I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you about uh, what's going on and give you some kind of an update. This last Sunday, we talked about what's going on with the whole coronavirus, and, and more importantly, what's going on spiritually behind all of that. 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 7. Remember this from last Sunday. God has not given you and I a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and a sound mind. And these are times when we need to lean into that. And we prayed about that. And I believe we addressed the spirit of fear. But I, I, I got to tell you, when I was preaching Sunday, in my heart, there was something else that was going on. And I, it's almost as if I was saying, Lord, there's something more. There's something going on. And I don't know what it is. And as I prayed about that and just asked the Lord, I want to share with you what I believe the Lord put on my heart. So uh, take this with a, a grain of salt, if you must. This is coming from my heart and what I felt the Lord was speaking. But... I believe that not only has a spirit of fear tried to grip us uh, as a world, but I believe holding his hand is a spirit of criticism. And I want us to be aware of this because there can be a critical spirit out there that can attack and run rampant and bring destruction. When fear moves in and you feel uncertain about things, criticism comes right along with it. And all of a sudden, you start being critical about what people are doing or what people are not doing. It can be very easy to criticize our leaders right now as they're making decisions to try to do what's best for us. But we've got to remember there's another side to that. There's a responsibility they have to lead us. You can find it in the home, a critical spirit between a, a husband and a wife. You can find that critical spirit show up almost anywhere. And you start making decisions based on what you think and what you feel, which is sometimes fearful. That's why we've got to remind ourselves God has not has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. You know, the children of Israel, as they went through all of their wanderings, God made a covenant with them, and he never went back on that covenant. And the covenant that God made with them had to do with the covenant of peace. If you look in the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, you'll see that God tells them to go and expand their tents and to claim their ground. And, and though they went through some temporary discomfort, and though they went through seasons where they scratched their head and said, God, where are you? What, what are you doing? God said, I never once left you or forsook you. As a matter of fact, he ends it by saying this, and we, we've heard this verse many times before, but he says, as a matter of fact, there's no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. He said, this is the heritage of the servants of God, and it's that righteousness, it comes from him. Church family, I want you to know today, there is no weapon formed against you that shall prosper unless you let it. So don't let it. Don't give in to the spirit of fear and be aware of that spirit of criticism. Here's something I want to encourage you to do. I'm asking you as a church family, you by all means don't have to do this, but I don't know why you wouldn't want to. I'm asking you to take time and have communion around the table at your home. I'm asking you to take some time. It doesn't have to be grape juice, and it doesn't have to be the church wafer. Grab a piece of Wonder Bread. Grab a Sprite off of your shelf, and have the family sit around. Men, I especially encourage you, as men of God, leaders of your home, grab your family, sit around the table, and remember what God has done. He's made a covenant with you and with me. And it's in moments like these that we need to fear not, and we need to be aware of any critical spirit that tries to come against us. And let's take it back to what really makes a difference, the blood of Jesus. Come to the cross, have communion around the table, and remind ourselves that God is in control. God bless you.